Hey guys, Clarksville Diggers. We're back on this place again. Um, going to some areas I've never been before. And I thought we'd try to uh, work some of these flat, uh, low areas. Maybe it might have been some farming. Never know, might get some coppers. Then again, I might run up onto another extended area, this Confederate camp. Who knows? Anything's possible. I'm using my camera today again, unfortunately. You know, y'all uh, seen where I had that uh, little fix that I uh, did for it, and it resorted it back to where it's supposed to be. But apparently there's an issue with the camera itself. And uh, I need to get me a hook to where I can hook my shovel on my back where I don't have to carry it. But uh, it's still too noisy. Even with the uh, extended settings and stuff that the, uh, the uh, new firmware gave it, it still wasn't doing. So, we're on the phone. I think I'm going to work down around around in those trees. My other area is over there, other side of that hill. I seen these trees and I thought this might be a good spot. So, when we come up and get something, I'll show it to you. So let's get digging. Okay, we had a good, uh, strong 16, 17. And, uh, got us a bullet. It's a small caliber. Probably more of a possible, uh, Pistol round. I'm probably putting it more into a 40 cal. Maybe even a 44. I'm looking right above my thumb. There's like a little ridge line. Some markings. So I don't think it was a rifle bullet. I can't really tell you if that's uh from Civil War era, but it is old, but it's shot. So, it's still a bullet. Bullet is a bullet. Got another 14, 15. And I pretty much figure it's going to be a bullet. I figure since we're kind of out here, way out in the middle of nowhere, we're going to find a lot of, this is going to be in a lot of hunting. Man, look at the size of that, that dude. Pow. That's old, but it's not Civil War. At least I don't think. Part of it's copper. So I think it's modern. It's old, though. Oh, still another bullet. Two bullets out. Had a good 10, strong 10, solid 10 and 11. This is going to be a good day. We found it. About almost 8 inches, just shy of 8 inches deep. My very first one. Call them toe tap. Then style them on the front of the boot. Apparently to preserve them, keep them from wearing out. And this one's still got all the nails in it. Ain't that freaking cool. I thought I was going to walk away and get away from all the Civil War stuff and get something more homestead. That's Civil War era. And I keep running right up on this stuff. 
Little toe tap, still with the nails in it. <laughs> oh, God, I hope it don't come up on another amputation hole. Oh, my Lord. Let's keep going. That is cool. Okay, I had a good strong, it's kind of jumping between the uh, 13 and the 14. Popped down to the uh, 12s a few times. Uh, and there's a little bit of an iron sound in it. Thought, okay, let's give it a shot. We're out here on one of the uh, field plots that he was uh, using for hunting. Over 12 inches deep, the Equinox detected that. And all I can get right now, there is a lot of iron right down there. Wouldn't doubt it if it'd be a, a big old field uh, plow point. But the Knox uh, heard it and kind of knew what it was. So we're going to dig it. Well, it was iron. It's like one of those triangle. Um, I can't remember exactly what those uh, were for. Um, some kind of a spacer or wedge or something like that. I don't know. I think it is part of the uh, plow system. As far as I can deduct. So some of it broke off right there. Else it would have been a a perfect triangle <laughs> 12 inches deep wow way to go Knox had a good eight pulled about uh, almost eight inches I love shotgun shell head stamps because they tell a story this is a Remington Dash UMC. Let's see if I can clean it on my pants. I don't wanna. That's a little bit better. It's a sure shot, 20 gauge. For that one, I would place it at they started making these in uh, 1929. Uh they were, uh, they ran them from 1929, 1947, but in 47, <clears throat> they changed the Remington Dash UMC to just Remington. So this is an earlier shell, but uh, I place it about the uh, late 20s and 30s. That's pretty cool. They all got a story. <clears throat> it can tell you a lot about the land when you research things you find. It can tell you a lot about the land that you're on. With all the rain we've been getting, that water, that little creek got up. That looks so cool. I'm gonna get a bit closer look. Did you see way down there? Where it's coming out of that hill? That is nice. Let's get down a little closer. Here's where one spring is coming out. Whoa, that's slippery. Is that cool or what? Bet that's cold. Look at that. That's where all those uh, flat rocks were. They're covered now. Watch me slip and fall. Only got my rubber boots on. 
Gotta be careful. Oh, how would you like to have this in your backyard? Holy macaroni. So peaceful. Listen to it. In my last bed, That's where I said I thought some critters live. That's the uh, exit for uh, underground water. That's cool. Want to get a little closer and hear it better? nice Guggly muggly I was heading back to the vehicle and so I just thought I'd just swing around Good strong uh, 12 and 13. I thought I had me a bullet Look what I got a stirrup Holy macaroni. Man, that ain't got much meat on it. I gotta be careful with that. That's gonna break. Gotta stir it, folks. Yeehaw. We're gonna check this hole and anything else in here. Maybe there might be a bullet in there. If there is, we'll come back to you. Whew. <laughs> Look at that. Look at my gear. I didn't even feel like cleaning it. I am tired. My knocks up there, the handle and everything. It's just, it's, it's changed colors. It's mud color. <laughs> oh, mercy. I ain't much better. I guess that, as the Brits would say, I'm a bloody muddy mess. Ay, ay, ay. This has been one wet day. Thank God this hasn't been raining. It is just muddy. We got a few things, folks. Okay, you seen that before. That's like one of them little wedge uh, doohickey things, I think, that goes something. Has to do with the plow. I used to know these, and I forgot. I found this. Looks like it's it was part, maybe, of some kind of a pickaxe. Looks like it broke right there. And then something ran over it and pressed it in. And it's been like that ever since. That's kind of cool. Didn't find no silver. Didn't find no diamond rings. We just find an old history from from way back that people used to use every day. Got a stirrup. It's an old one and it has lost a lot of meat. I'm afraid that top part's going to break on me if I'm not careful. I'm going to try to put that in a electrolysis but I'm so afraid that's gonna break it's more uh, horse tack horse ring modern bullet I had that other bullet um, oh hey I still had some more stuff in here I forgot Yeah, there's that big old bullet. That's modern. 
This is a shot one. Can't tell you if it's Civil War or just close to that era, that period. I don't know. Now this here, folks, this looks a lot like a heel tap. Wouldn't you think? Oh, sorry about that. I've never seen one of these up close, so I'm not for certain. Let's see what else we got in here. No, nope. I think that's all in that one. Uh, some junk. No, nope. a piece of aluminum. No matter where you're at, you're always going to find them. And this is lead. Got some, had some real nice patina on it. When I was cleaning that, some of it came off. Have no idea what that was. Got some good weight to it. It's kind of, it kind of came in in, uh, in the high lead numbers. It's like it almost could be brass, probably. I don't know. Because when you uh, clean it off, underneath that patina is kind of a reddish tint. Could be brass. It's cool. That was pretty neat. Okay. Clarksville Diggers is through for the day. We're going to go home. Probably stop by KFC and get some chicken. Uh, no, I got to clean first. So y'all have a blessed day. Joanne and I appreciate all y'all watching the videos. And uh, just keep in check on us. We'll get back with you real soon. We'll see you later. Clarksville Diggers. We're out here.